The House of Mouse is certainly well-versed in the art of damage control. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney Channel controversies and scandals. For this list, we'll be looking at various times that the Disney Channel has had to navigate bad press over the years, be it relating to their content or the actions of their actors. It's not uncommon for one-time Disney stars to get into trouble after parting ways with the company, but in this video we're focusing on events that happened while they were still working with Disney. As such, don't expect to see Lindsay Lohan on our list. Number 10. Shake It Up Making Light of a Serious Issue Given that its target demographic is impressionable kids and tweens, the Disney Channel strives to produce content with a positive message. And generally speaking, it succeeds. But every now and then, an episode will drop the ball when navigating a sensitive subject. Starring Zendaya and Bella Thorne, Shake It Up ran for three seasons from 2010 to 2013 and was generally well-received. In 2011, however, the re-airing of the season one episode Party It Up drew criticism for an eating disorder joke. You're adorable. I could just eat you guys up. You know, if I ate. <laughs> Adding to the embarrassment, it was actually an ex-Disney star Demi Lovato who called Disney out. The channel pulled the episode and subsequent airings have had the offending joke removed. You seriously have to stop saying, oh, what could go wrong? <laughs> I can't believe this. The Colby Calais episode of So Random also got pulled for similarly distasteful lines. Angus only eats one full meal a week. Ask him why. I actually, I, I don't want My ask. agent's always on me about licking my beast. Team, believe it. Oh. She says to me, Angie, if you eat too many cabs, you won't get the G-orbs. And I said, I know. Number nine, Miley Cyrus on the cover of Vanity Fair. We're not sure who on Miley's team okayed this photo shoot, but you can bet that Disney was not happy about it. Like many young Disney actresses and singers, the Hannah Montana star created a division in her career by becoming more overtly sexual after parting ways with the House of Mouse. Unlike her peers, however, Cyrus pushed the envelope with a provocative photo shoot while she was still part of the Disney Channel. Yeah, and um, you know, if you could count on me most of the time, we could live with that, right? Oh, but we don't have to live with it because she never lets us down. Never, never, never. Well, see, never is kind of like always. Big word. Oh. Yeah. The picture in question was taken in 2008 by photography icon Annie Leibovitz and showed a seemingly topless Miley covering herself with a bedsheet. She was only 15 at the time. Miley quickly issued an apology to her fans when it became a scandal, only to retract it 10 years later. Hey, Ma. I did the right thing, okay? <laughs> Number eight, Jake Paul's social media stunts and bizarre work. But you're smart. You can think of a super clever way to solve this problem. Hey, Wall, look over there. Oh. Oh. This one falls squarely into the category of speculation. To date, Disney has never made any official statements as to why they chose to part ways with YouTuber Jake Paul. But when a core cast member leaves a show mid-season, it's never a good sign. Both parties described it as a mutual decision, though Paul, for his part, claimed that he had, quote, outgrown the channel. My brand is uh, evolving and becoming more of an adult, and like I want to play more adult roles in acting and grow in that sense. Maybe, but it's hard to ignore the fact that his departure from the show coincided with his increasingly controversial pranks and stunts on his YouTube channel. Whoa! That's the best way ever. Take the Jake Paulers. I might die. Dad! One, two, three. Here we go! Disney is extremely protective of its image and brand, even by the standards of an entertainment conglomerate, and it's fair to say that their association with Jake Paul was simply too risky. This career test will tell us what other interests you might have besides dangerous stairs. Do we really have to do this? I don't think I live that dangerous of a life. Well, let's just see. Don't drink that. That's liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Number seven, Adrian Bailon's private photos leak. There's nothing like a nude pic of a Disney Channel star to get people talking. At the time that these photos started circulating online in 2008, Adrian Bailon was still starring in the Cheetah Girls film series. I am more sure about this than I've been about anything. This is our cheetah destiny. 
Over the course of her time with Disney, she also made guest appearances in a number of popular shows, including The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and That's So Raven. Do you know what time it is? A quarter past payback. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but the photos reportedly cost Bailon her contract with Disney and a Cheetah Girl's appearance at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But the worst part of it all, in 2013, her ex-publicist, who had represented her during the scandal, claimed that it was actually Bailon who leaked the images. If it's not memorable enough for somebody to remember what you look like naked, why do you have to text it? Like, I really think about that now, like, it's You're okay. You're saying that now because you gotta Man, hurry. No. Okay. Number six, geek not so charming, Matt Prokop. You are so gross! Gross is just one syllable. Fans love it when Disney Channel stars begin dating one another. It adds a whole new way to fawn over these teen icons. If we mingled outside of doing my movie together, you might get the wrong idea and ask me out. Unfortunately, when the geek charming leads took their on screen courtship into the real world, it was anything but the fairy tale fans imagined. I trusted you, but you never cared about me. After becoming romantically involved around the time of the film, co stars Sarah Hyland and Matt Prokop went on to date for five years. According to Hyland, however, Prokop was both verbally and physically abusive for much of their time together. And when they broke up, he threatened both her safety and that of her dog. In 2014, Hyland filed a restraining order against Prokop, who hasn't appeared in film or on television since. Number 5. Mitchell Musso's DUI The Disney Channel series Hannah Montana made Miley Cyrus into a superstar. But its success was such that even the supporting cast quickly became teen icons in their own right. I know, knock knock, who's their fate? Fate who? Jessica. <laughs> Unfortunately, not all stars can handle the fame. Mitchell Musso is best known for playing Oliver, one of Miley's two best friends on Hannah Montana. A true Disney Channel heavyweight, however, he also voiced a character on Phineas and Ferb, starred in Pair of Kings, and served as the host of Prank Stars. Do you know who set you up on this prank? After getting a DUI in 2011, however, Musso's many opportunities with Disney all disappeared. Prank Stars was cancelled, and his character Brady was written off of Pair of Kings. Number 4. Miley Cyrus's Smoking Video That's right, Miley makes not one, but two appearances on our list today. Usually, we try to keep it to one entry per celeb, but when it comes to Disney Channel alumni, there's arguably never been a bigger star than Miley, or one that's generated more controversy. Now, can we get back to the person with the real problem? <gasps> In 2010, two years after the Vanity Fair drama, a video surfaced of the young star taking a hit from a bong. So, you're a mess. Let's start from there. It was allegedly shot during Cyrus's 18th birthday, and according to Miley, wasn't marijuana like most people assumed, but rather salvia, which was technically legal in California at the time. Just saying. Rule follower, rule breaker. Regardless, Cyrus was still playing the role of Hannah Montana then, and soon publicly admitted that it was a mistake. The video allegedly cost her a Walmart deal. Number 3. The Arrest of Andy Mack's On-Screen Grandfather Toto, we aren't in Kansas anymore. Speaking of Toto, can we get a dog? The Disney Channel is known for keeping close tabs on its young stars. The company reportedly provides them with strict guidelines, dictating everything from their behavior and style of dress to what they post on social media. It turns out, however, that it's the grown-ups that Disney really needs to worry about sometimes. Actor Stoney Westmoreland played the recurring role of Ham, Andy's grandfather, on the critically acclaimed series Andy Mac. Come join us! Side, go, Pops! Come on! You know you want to! Oh, I don't want to. I have to! What? In 2018, however, Westmoreland was arrested during the filming of the third season, when he was caught trying to arrange a sexual encounter between himself and an underage boy of 13 years old. Disney fired the actor, and wherever possible, he was edited out of subsequent episodes. He looks so happy. Gotta go! Bye! Number 2. The Vanessa Hutchins Leak This ex-Disney star is no stranger to scandal. It's a virus, I get it. Like. I respect it, but at the same time, like, even if everybody gets it, like, 
Yeah, people are gonna die. Long before her coronavirus comments landed her in hot water, Hutchins weathered a media firestorm when nude photos of her leaked online. Unlike with Adrienne Ballon, there's nothing to suggest that the leak was intentional. As Hutchins had stated in subsequent interviews, the theft of these private pictures was traumatizing and has had a long-lasting impact on her career. The actress made a public apology at the time of the leak and, unlike so many of her peers, was able to continue working with Disney, who stated that they hoped Hudgens, quote, learned a valuable lesson. Thankfully, the dialogue around such leaks has since changed, and she's retroactively seen as the victim, rather than the one who should apologize. I always liked the idea of being in charge of my future, until it actually started happening. So, let's just think about right now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Demi Lovato Hits a Dancer and Goes to Rehab Few Disney Channel stars have had a more difficult journey than Demi Lovato. Normal? Oh, you mean the normal where you always win and I always lose? I don't like that normal. In 2010, when she was part of the Jonas Brothers Live In Concert Tour, it was reported that Lovato attacked backup dancer Alex Welch. The reason? She believed the latter had told on her for partying and substance use the previous night. Shorty and I had been really close through Camp Rock and Camp Rock 2. So when he said Shorty, I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. After the incident, Lovato left the tour to enter rehab. Well, guess what? This is me trying to save something that I care about. So am I. Really? And how's that working out for you? At the time, it was reported as being for, quote, physical and emotional issues. But though few people knew it at the time, she was actually struggling with depression, substance abuse, and an eating disorder. Thankfully, Lovato has been very open about her struggles, making her one of the most inspiring figures that the House of Mouse has ever helped put on the map. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.